introduce our special guest. Our guest today is the state president of the PGA, Jeff Flanagan from Huntingdale Golf Club. Before you sing for your supper, big year ahead for you. And we certainly have, Colin. We've got uh, the Australian PGA Championship, which is the first week in November prior to the Australian Open in Sydney. Uh, and then the week after that, we will be running our Victorian State Championship. Oh, that's on again. Well, it's on in a different manner. We hear uh, the state PGA, as like in the Garden State situation, uh, is no longer being held this year because of no television available. Uh -huh. So we're running our state title in a slightly lower key, which yeah. was... The main thing is it's still on the board. That's it's on important. the board, because we have to play it for the year 1980. Yeah, then of course um, later on you've got the Victorian uh, Open uh, here in uh, Feb. We have, yes. And then you have the Australian Masters. We have, at Huntingdale. At Huntingdale, your own club. Yes. So it's some big events coming up. A lot of golf. A lot of Victoria. big players coming out. Well, we've got the best courses, so that's why they, yeah. uh, they want to come here. Jeff, uh, you and I have been talking about teaching. We, we often have a yarn about it. And uh, one thing I should talk about today is this business of hitting down on the ball as distinct from sweeping it away. So many people are scared to take a divot or don't know how to take a divot. So between the two, will you tell us what we should be doing, particularly with irons more than woods? Sure, Colin. Uh, well, mainly, the, to enable yourself to hit down on the ball and take a divot... You should. The point is you should with your you irons should, hit down. You should, because uh, that's the way the backspin is involved onto the ball, which makes it elevate. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the situation is that you've got to be in, in a position up to the top of the swing where you then can give a more downward blow to the ball. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people who don't take a divot would have either one of two things, either have a very long backswing which then makes them throw the club from the top and therefore hit it on an upward blow, I'm which would then have their weight on their back leg. Uh -huh. And if successful at taking any divot at all, it would start somewhere back here. And Lord knows what happens to the ball along the ground are very, very low. That's right. So well, obviously what happens is that the club always remains an extension of your left arm. And if you can stop it short of the parallel or horizontal, from that situation, then in shifting your weight, you can then pull the club down with your left hand mm -hmm. and make a descending blow through the ball. At address, your hands in the club, your, um, your hands are in front of the ball, I would suggest. Well, I like to have my hands above the ball, uh -huh. uh, which means that then they're in front of the club head. Yes, that's, that's right. distinct from uh, being too far uh -huh. uh, forward. So on that situation, then I'm almost set up ready to hit down on it anyway. Just hit an easy one before we put one on the replay, Geoffrey. Jeff Flanagan, Huntingdale Golf Club, one of the great professionals. Well, that's it. And don't worry about taking a bit of a divot out of the carpet. We knew that could happen. We're happy about it. Mm, well, now, actually, um, that wasn't any good uh, because they did hit behind it, uh -huh. trying to get into the carpet. Court. OK, well, we'll put this on the replay so we can have a look at it very carefully afterwards, Jeff. Well, that is as perfectly a hit a ball as you could ever wish for. Let's have a look at it, Jeffrey, and see if you're happy with the swing. I hope you're going to have play in one or two of the events this year. You, uh... Well, hopefully, uh, I Here shall. Here we go. Have a look at your right. swing. You just tell Get us about there, it. Jeff. Up there, Bill. First of all, the hands are just in front of the club head, aren't they? That's correct, Colin. <laughs> and there's right. the club short of the horizontal. Right. Now, already, you're just about ready to start your downswing, and there's a faint forward shift taking place. You see it pulling down now. Right. Now, it'll be interesting to see your hands at impact. Hold it there, Bill, thank you. Of uh, course, the club's moving so fast it blurs out, but you, you will be hitting definitely down on that ball, there's no yeah. doubt. Hopefully, or ideally, the club would be a straight line with my left arm at impact, yeah. you see. You follow through. A lot of people, when they take a divot, they tell to jag into the, the grass, don't they? You go right through, don't you? You force through. Trying to. <laughs> trying to. <laughs> Not as wide as I'd like to be, but fairly wide. There's the weight going through to my left side now. And once again, we see that perfect finish for the uh, professional well, on that left foot and up on the toe of the right. Couldn't That's be right. better. Thank you. Louis, you had another I'm lesson today? I about Jeff. His outfit looks magnificent, doesn't it? The red Thank jacket. You, you do, Jeff. You always look yeah. a picture. Thank you. And you've got the Pat for fruit juice plus the bottle That's of champagne lovely. from Thomas Hunter. That's the Grand Reserve. Of course, I'll put it there. Thank you, Louis. And you've got the uh, chocolate-coated gingers from Ballantyne's plus the entertainments from Ballantyne's. Yeah. And this will be very handy when you're playing golf, this... Uh, uh, well, the balls uh, 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 Soldering <laughs> ironing well kit. The you together. know, well, the balls together oh, and all fantastic. that. And you can stick them in the hole. Jeff, thank and God bless. And thanks for coming along. Thank we you hope you call and see us again, mate. Thank you, Lou. Jeff, Jeff Flanagan's our professional. And